hello today i'm going to talk about error handling and as its name suggests we can able to control the flow of errors so let us start doing that so at first i'm going to print some variable so this variable is not actually defined so let us check what will be this error so i'm getting this error and this error is having this type of statement as a default so i'm going to talk about how to change this type of statement and also how to not show this traceback so by default this is going to show this traceback and how to hide this traceback so i'm going to talk all these things and right here you can see the type of this error and there are several type of errors and to check that so at first let us have this result so this is going to return this value so now let us check the type of errors and to check that let us import this built-ins and after that let us use this dir so this is going to provide all the functions methods or it can be a class of this built-in module so let us check that so this built-in module will have this many type of class so these errors are present right here so these are all the type of errors and there are some functions and some class right over here and we know that the, this string integer and all these things are actually a class so I'm having these type of errors so now let us raise some type of errors and this raise is actually a keyword and to check all the type of keywords you can use this help and right here you need to provide these keywords so this is going to provide the list of keywords available inside this python so i'm having so mainly we are going to use these type of keywords like else except finally and this raise and this try so these are the five keywords let's let me say it again i'm going to use this keyword this and this this raise and this try so mainly i'm going to use these five keywords and you can write those names right here to get more information so right now let us start using this keyword like raise so once you have this keyword you can provide any type of error like let us have this error a name error and after that you can provide some type of statement so by default this name error is going to provide this type of statement so instead of this let us provide some more statement some another statement like this is my first otherwise let us provide some another statement like this is name error let us check this so i'm having this thing so we can actually control the statement for any type of error like this is a name error so instead of this let us provide some different type of error like a syntax error let us have this right over here and so i'm going to get this syntax error so instead of this name error now i'm getting this syntax error so only the name of this error is going to change and still i'm getting this trace back and 
so this is how you can raise any type of errors and you just need to provide the name here and after that you need to provide some type of statement and what if I'm not providing this type of statement and so by default this is going to provide it is not going to provide any type of statements and this is for the syntax error let us check for name error and it is not going to provide any type of statement beside this name of this error and now let us provide some statement like this is name error so let us have this so this is going to return this error so this will have this result so this is how you can raise some type of errors just provide the type of error and you can provide any type of statement you need it right here and you have to use this type of keyword to raise some type of errors and let us have some more examples to understand about this raise keyword and so right now I'm going to use this keyword and I'm going to try some statements and right here I'm, let us have some variable as a 10 and if this variable is not equal to 11 so this condition is true and if this condition is true I am going to raise some type of error like name error and right here I am going to provide some statement like this is name error and after that I am going to use this keyword and after that you need to provide the name error as any and right here I am going to print some error and I am going to provide this any and f so let's run this program and after watching this statement you can see that I'm actually getting this statement right here you suppose I'm having a pass let's run this program so now I'm not getting any type of statements so this is because this value is going to store in this name error so because of that I'm actually getting this statement beside this statement so let's have this right here and this is going to return this value So now, instead of this, what if I'm going to provide this exception and let's run this program. So this means that, so actually right here we are providing some another type of error, but still this will take this type of statement. You suppose I'm providing some another type of error like syntax and still I'm getting this statement for this exception so this is because this has to be some type of some relation is having some relation between this and these type of errors and so this is because this has to be having a base a base error to understand this let us print this dir of this any and so this is having this with the traceback and let us have let us use this 
and I'm providing this brackets so let's run this program so I'm getting this syntax error and not only that I'm getting this this type of error which is saying that which is having a base exception and this is because to understand this let us have some class and let us have this class as a and which is not having any type of statements or methods and let us also have a class name b and let this class be a subclass of a and now let us have a class c and this is a subclass of b and which is also not having any type of statements or methods and after that let us use this help of this class name c and right here we can see that in this method resolution order this is a base class or we can say it as some type of main class and this is a subclass of this main class and this class c is a subclass of a class b so this is how you can check some subclass or a main class so in the same way if suppose you want to check the type let us print this type of this class so this is saying this class name is so this is actually a class so this is how you can check whether something is a class or not and this this exception is also a class and you can also check whether that this exception is a class or not so this is also a class so because of that I have provided this as a base class and after doing this let us run this program <coughs> program again so you can see here I'm having this base exception so because of this right here you can provide this exception and this still is going this is also going to take these type of errors and let us have some variable like list and let this list have this class a b and c and after that i am going to use this for loop for class in this list and right here i am going to try some statements and this will be you know this is already in some type of exception this also means that this has to be some type of some type of error like a is a type of some error so because of that i am going to raise this class by providing this brackets and after doing that let us provide a c at this first place and right here i'm going to just going to print some statements and otherwise you can provide some statements here like this is this let us have some variable otherwise let us have some statement this is a class and right here I am going to provide some statement like as so let this have class value and I am providing this substring string and error and let this have some value and that has to be this cv class value class c value and this is for class c and coming to this class b will have and for a 
so this is for class a let us check this value and I'm having the same value so actually this is the same thing like this is a class so error in this let us have this C and in this B and so this is for A let's run this program and now you can see I'm having this A B and this C if suppose I'm providing this A at right here and let's run this program so now you can see that I am having only the A so this means that this happens because all this class is having a base class as A so because of that this thing will happen and you suppose you are providing this thing again right here and we know that when you are going to raise some class or some type of error at first this is going to check is this possible we know that at first place we have a so because of this this is going to check all this thing and finally it is going to check its own class and because of that I am getting this thing at the first place and when you have some type of b as a class and this b is not a subclass of this thing this c is a is a subclass of b but this b is not a subclass of this c so because of that after c it is going to be coming at this place so i'm getting this thing at second place and when this value is c it is going to have this thing and if suppose you are providing this a right here and at first place this is a so this is going to happen and if this class is b and this b is a subclass of this a because you can see it here this b is a subclass of this a so because of that again i am going to get this thing and coming to this c this c is a subclass of this b and indirectly this cl this class c is a subclass of class a so because of that i am getting the same thing thrice so because of that you need to provide this base class at this last place so base class you need to provide at this last place for this condition because every time this is going to check first this thing and after that it is going to check this and finally it is going to get this type of value so this is going to provide this type of outcome and let us have that right here so because of this so once you have understand this let us have some more example to understand this better so let us have this again so I have provided this thing right here and we know that this is a main class and this has to be subclass of this exception so because of that I am getting this thing right here and what if I am going to provide a name error right here as any and right here I am going to print this is in name error and after that I am going to have 
this any and I'm going to use this abstract so now you can see that I'm having this statement so at first this is going to check for this thing and we know that this is a base class so you need to provide this at the last position if suppose you are providing this base thing above right here I'm going to get this type of error so this means that at first this will try all this statement and in this statement if suppose I'm getting any type of error at first this try is going to check this thing and after that it is going to check this thing and if this error is a subclass of this error so if this happens I'm going to get this type of statement and we know that this is a base class so in other words this has to be behaving as a main class to any type of errors so I'm getting this type of error if suppose this is some another error like syntax error and now I will get this thing because this syntax is having a relation with this thing and not with this thing in other words this has this is not actually a subclass of this thing so because of that I am not getting this type of statement so this is going to provide this type of error so this is about these errors and why you need to provide some base errors in below and after that now let's talk about this else let us print some statement like this is in else and let us have this another keyword that is finally and this is just going to print this is final statement and let's run this program so I'm having this error and if this error happens all this statement is not going to work and finally I'm going to get these type of errors and what if I'm not having these errors and now I'm going to get this else and this final thing final statements so this is about this else so all this statement is going to happen when you don't have any type of errors and this is happens at every instance so this is not going to depend on whether this is a error or it is not having any type of errors and let's have this error so I'm still getting this statement and even now I'm having this statement so this is not going to depend on this type of things but this else is going to depend somehow in this type of errors if this error occurs this statement is not going to work and if suppose we don't have any type of errors in this try statements all this statement is going to happen or all this statements is going to run and I will have those many type of statements at the output so this is about this else and this finally so now let's talk about this traceback so I'm having this syntax error so I will get this type of statement and 
I already said why this exception must be kept below. So this is because this is actually a base error. So now let us print this dir of this e. So this e is having all this thing like with traceback and let us have this so let's print this e dot this with traceback and you can write any type of error you write here let's run this program so I'm having this name of this error and so let us provide some brackets so this means that so actually I'm getting two times this traceback so one traceback is for this syntax error and another traceback is for this base exception and this thing is also having this with the traceback and so by seeing this error we can actually say that this syntax error is actually a subclass of this base exception and if suppose this is not a base class of this class I might not get this type of value this has to be some type of main class or a base class for this syntax error so because of that I am getting this type of error so now let us print this help of this syntax error so let us check this so this syntax error is is a subclass of this exception and this is also a subclass of this thing so by seeing this we can say that what is the base class and what is the subclass of this thing and this is a subclass of this exception and so this is present inside this method resolution order so because of this right here I have said that so when you are providing any type of statement all this statement is going to appear right in this exception and let us also check for this name error and so this is also a subclass of this thing so this means that every type of error is having some type of base errors and one good example is that we have this we have this example and based on this right here I have provided this base class at below portion and some above class or subclass is present right above this type of exception and so this is quite helpful and if suppose I am providing let us have this let's have this right here so now I'm getting these type of statements so this happens because right here we know that this is a main subclass or a base class so this is actually a base class and if this th if this class is a subclass of this thing this has to be some type of error like it can be some type of syntax error or a value error or it can be a name error so in the same way right here we have created some our own error right here a b and c 
and I have just provided this class name I have not provided any type of brackets and right here I have provided brackets and not only that I have provided these type of set these type of statements and since this is a subclass of this thing in other words we are actually using this class so because of that we can able to provide these type of statements right here and all this statement is going to be appearing in this subclass so these two are subclass of this a so this b is subclass of this c is actually a subclass of b and when this b is a subclass of this a this means that this is indirectly a subclass of this a and make sure that the base error or base class must be provided right below because at first this is going to check for this type of error and if suppose I am providing this base error right here and I will get the same thing this is because all this thing depends is a class of class or it can be a subclass of this thing and because of that I am having this thing so in the same way when you are providing this exception at, at about this name error always I am going to get this statement so because of that I have provided below this name error and this means that at first this type of error is going to check for this type and if this is false this syntax error is actually a subclass of this thing so because of that I will get this type of statement and so today I have talked about this I, I am having some type of errors if suppose I am not having these variables in other words I have not defined this variable I am just directly going to print this variable so I am getting this name error and this name error is having some standard statements like this name this variable name is not defined and this is how you can raise some type of errors providing some type of errors and so these are all the type of errors import the built-in module and use this dir and after that you can get these all values and you can provide this type of statement and if you are providing this we can actually change these type of statements right beside this type of error and if you want to remove this type of trace pack you can use this type of syntax so right now I'm not having this type of trace pack and I'm I can actually control these type of statements right here and we can also create our own errors like I have created some new error like a B and C and this happens because all these errors is actually having some link between this base exception and because of that I can actually use this type of for loop of this iterable and this iterable is having all these names and all this class is not having any type of brackets and right here I have provided these type of statements as this does so this name is also a subclass of this thing so in the same way this class is also a subclass of this exception and we can also provide some type of statement and I'm getting this type of statement at all these variables and I have provided this base exception below every subclass so at first this is going to check for C and after that it is going to check for B and finally it is going to check for A and I am getting this type of value and coming to here you can see here this I have provided this base exception below this thing because 
this name error is actually a subclass of this thing same as we have this example right here like a is a subclass of b and b is a subclass of a so this is because at first we need to check whether this error is this thing or not and if suppose you are providing this exception b about this name error every time i'm going to get these type of values so this is because this is a main class of this subclass and right here again we have this type of syntax and right here i have talked new keywords like if suppose i'm having any type of errors all this statement is not going to work and if i'm not having any type of errors this statement is going to work so all these statements is going to run and finally is not going to depend on these errors if we have some type of errors also we are going to get this statement if the so this is not going to depend on any type of errors it may or may not have any type of errors still we are going to get this statement at the last place and finally coming to this trace packs so this is going to provide some information like this syntax error is a subclass of this thing like at first we are going to get some trace back of this syntax error and after that i'm going to get some type of trace back of this exception so this is because this exception will also have some type of trace back so that is about this four keywords finally else accept and this try and i'm using these five things to raise and also i have talked about this raise keyword and so these are the five keywords to use to create some type of to have some error handling so to have error handling you must use mostly you have to you need to have these five keywords and you need to have some type of understanding about this syntax error and some type of errors like these many types of errors and we must have some basic understanding about all these things and to understand about that you can go to this help and you can click on this syntax error and we can get all these type of methods like this also has some with traceback and you can see here i'm having this thing and this also says that this exception will also have this with traceback and this is taking one argument and So this syntax error is having which doesn't have any type of document right here but still it has some static method and some so this is about this error handling and about some name errors and i have also talked about this type of keywords and the type of errors and this is actually base error and we can create this type of our own error if you are having this exception as a base error and you can use these type of keywords for error handling so this is about this error handling and so that is for today and see you again bye bye